And don't forget, folks, Basil does an outstanding program here every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Also has a great newsletter, The Opening Call. Now, it's very easy to get The Opening Call, folks. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to go into newsletters. You're going to see The Opening Call on the left-hand side. You can get The Opening Call for one month for $149. You get it for six months for $695, which is a savings of $199 at 22%. And you get it for one full year for $1,195, which is a savings of $593 at 33%. Now, they all come, folks, with a 30-day money-back guarantee. So you can come over, you can get six months, you can get a year, you get a month, whatever you want. But let's say you get six months. Well, bottom line, if you like it, great, you can keep it. 29th day, for some reason, it doesn't work. Guess what? You get all your money back. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you doing? I wish it would get a little bit warmer up there. I'm coming up to visit, and... It's like, oh, my God, I don't believe it's only like 67 degrees to 70 degrees up there, man. Well, this, this weekend will be quite nice. Uh, we'll, we'll give you some nice weather. So good. How, when, you, when are you coming? Good. This weekend. Oh, well, that, you'll have good weather. Good. Good. Yeah. Well, how's, so, the, how's the weather in the market? What are we well, doing? The weather in the market, it, you know, last week I spoke to you about the, the concept that I had that it's very important that this, this market, it's done that since the summer of 2010, every time one particular sector gets overbought or even oversold, there's this rotation that the one sector that was strong takes a breather and another sector gets strong. And I said to you, it's really important that all week, in fact, in every one of my shows, I was saying, it's very important at this particular point, if anything's going to happen, it's not that the um, semiconductors are running strongly or we're going to, uh, didn't know they were running as strongly as they did, but it was more important that we rotate into the, uh, into the financials. You want to see the, the XLF, the S&P financial sector e, uh, ETF rally. You want to see the KRE, which is the regional bank rally. So that was really important. So even though we've gone, uh, we've added to our long positions in the Dow, the most important thing is I was speaking to you about some stocks that we've had, individual stocks like Sim, which is Symbotic. I said it's had a fantastic move. We're in from the 21s. It's trading at 35, and it hit 37. But Congratulations. I was thinking, thank you very much. And I was thinking that these are the ones that are going to probably have some kind of a digestive phase because this is in the robotic warehouse automation systems. But it still seems to be holding in another one, which is directly in that area, which is AI, Global X Robotics and AI ETF, which we've had for some time now, is at a near recovery high. And I was saying that these moves to the upside, I would expect that if there was going to be a rotation, that they would, they would maybe they'd pull back a bit, but they would not continue to lead. Well, actually, they have been continued to lead, even the SMHs, which are holding well. Um, are pulling back a little bit, but they're still up near the highs. But I do think that this is a sector that is going to start to see some kind of a digestive action as we're looking at KRE, which is what we are long, which is the S&P Regional Banking ETF, finally have a little bit of, it isn't so much a rally, but it is a takeoff phase so that I can start to see, you can see this left side chart here, uh, where we had what I call a Chapman Wave price volume climax that was on the 4th of, of May. It hit 3452. After it, this, this gap down candle where the volume exploded, I love to look at that because that's where everyone's just throwing the stock out and said, I've had enough. I can't stand it anymore. And that's where the, I have a rule of thumb that if this is actually a Chapman Wave price volume climax, it should go for 28 bars, or in this case, days. Uh, to the upside, it should not retest the 34.52 level. And if it holds sharply above the gap high, and in this case, that's in the 37s, and it's at 43.20 right now, it could even go for 56 sessions. So this is going to be a test of this particular theory. It's worked in other times. We'll see if it works now. And the other thing that I was saying is that I want to see the weekly. I'm not so interested in the daily. That's your, that's your, your, your talk, your momentum comes from the weekly. So the starter impetus to go up has come about. And, and if it could start to trade in 45 to 46, it's at 43.19, that'll be good. But the most important thing is you can see that the weekly chart, it was just, I mean, one day it's 65 and bam, just two months later or so, 
it's down in the uh, 30s. So this is this needs a lot of work, but I like the fact in the weekly chart, in the monthly chart, we've got this beautiful arch formation. It's got a price time. I call this uh, this is price symmetry, where it goes from the 32.48 low that was made around about July of 2020, all the way to 78 in January at a peak D, the fourth highest peak, where other things can happen. And look how it came down. It had the one to one to the downside, and it went all the way back down to the 34 level that 34.52 low of, of a week or so ago. So this is really important. I want to see the financials moving up and preferably I'd like to see the, the regionals because, wow, they've been, they've been hurt badly. And that's, that's your every day. I mean, that's every town, every city. The yes. regionals are what keep things going. No, I can see that. I'm telling you, you know, it's wild, Basil, is that your name is synonymous with bifurcation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's funny. It yeah. is. But isn't this bifurcation? Look, the Dow is up uh, one point here, and the S&P is up much more, and all of a sudden you've got the small caps going. And that's what I mean by this rotational action. So no, I know. Absolutely. Listen, I know when I hear it on Bloomberg, I, you know, like in your head, folks, okay, what happens is every time I hear that word, I say, Basil Chapman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but absolutely. I mean, that's just a split personality. That's what the market it, does it, listen, every man, once in a while. You know, I mean, the... the the small caps are the last ones that went on the last big rally, too. So this is going to get really intriguing because if the small caps are ever going to catch up with the other indices, it's going to be like, are you kidding me, man? I mean, pfft. well, even even if they just have a pretty decent rally, I just don't want to see them going back to the most recent lows because right. they were not looking good. So this is important just to get off the ground. And I, I think they're doing that right now. And if if the um, fund managers start to see that the small caps are now coming alight, that this is this is the play, you will start to see that the semis kind of slow down. They might make it higher highs, but they're going to slow down the increment of the, the gains, and you'll start to see money flow into the... That's right, because they made plenty flow. of money on the chips, that's for sure. Hey, let oh, me absolutely. ask you, when you did that uh, workshop at, uh, at the MIT, what was the feeling for the uh, investors that were there? Oh, that was online that, anyway. That was Did... online. So I really okay. couldn't. Usually, usually I get a real good feeling. I, I right. tell people to raise their hands who, who are bullish at the moment, right? right? Who have money in the market, who don't. But this is different. So, But I was talking about the, the, the split personality, that we needed to see those financials take over now so that the market can sustain this rally. And I do see at some point a little later on, I can see us having another big pullback, but at the same time, uh, buying buying is coming in, and it's it's selective, and some of these real small cap, the single digit stocks are having a fantastic run. Yes. I like what I'm seeing. It's this is this is what I wanted to see the spreading out. I want to see a broadening of this market. The selectivity we had seven stocks in the Nasdaq or whatever wasn't good. I like this broadening. No, I, I listen. I get that, but I know that for so many IRAs, those seven stocks, a lot of people are happy because they're almost probably they're the seven biggest owned stocks also. So, yeah, you know, people are making correct. money, man. Correct, yes. Basil, you have a great night, safe night, and of course, we look forward to the show tomorrow. And I'll show these stocks in my show tomorrow, yeah. That's Thank a beautiful you know. thing. Have a great one, man. Have a safe one. You too. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back.